in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going to the pet store, picking out some toys for the little rescued macaw that I rescued about a couple weeks ago, and we're going to be upgrading his cage. I have the toys sitting in my lap, so I'm going to flip the camera around right now and show you what I got. We are ah! out here with the macaw, and you can ah! see that he is looking better here. What up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all are having a great day so far. So guys, in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going to the pet store, picking out some toys for the little rescued macaw that I rescued about a couple weeks ago and we're gonna be upgrading his cage. Now guys, for most of you that have not been following my channel, about a couple weeks ago, I rescued this macaw that was in terrible, terrible conditions. He was super stressed out. His feathers were missing because he was so stressed. He was plucking them and he just was not looking good. But now guys, he is doing a lot better. He's been separated from the other macaw in quarantine so he can heal properly. And now we're going to give him something to entertain him so he can have a bunch of fun. But guys, before we hop into today's video, we are going to go see Larry, my little green sheet conure. So right here guys, this is little Larry, my green cheek conure. If most of you are new to the channel, I rescued him by the power lines when he was just a little baby. Now I showed his pin feathers all around his head about two weeks ago and they were everywhere guys. This little guy was growing feathers in left and right. Now if I flip the camera around, I'm gonna show you just how much he's changed in two weeks. So guys, little Larry here, his pin feathers are doing a lot better. Now guys, if you're questioning why I'm holding him like this, that is because he is fully flighted and I do not want him to fly away and go missing so i'm not hurting him at all i'm just you know you know cupping him with my hand but if you look right here his pin feathers are so much better he's not in as much pain they have gone around his face his feathers are coming in and he is just growing up so fast but you know he's in a cranky mood so i'm gonna put him back in his little cage to eat his breakfast so we can hop into today's video Right, guys so i just finished at the pet store and i have the toys sitting in my lap so i'm gonna flip the camera around right now and show you what i got so right here, I got a nice hard toy that is nice and durable, and it's perfect for this macaw. And then the next toy I got is this ginormous rope toy. It is nice, colorful, and is just a whole bunch of fun. And hidden in here is actually a little bell. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it up. Oh. There it is right there, guys. There is the little bell. So the macaw is definitely going to love this. And the last toy I got is this one right here. It's a little dusty, but this macaw is going to love it. It is nice and sturdy. And he is just going to have a whole bunch of fun. Hey, Zeno, what's up, big girl? How you doing? So, guys, we made it to Jacob's. And Zena gave me a nice big welcome. How you doing? How you doing? Ah, you're so cute. All right, guys, so I ran inside because the little macaw was low on food. So I filled him up with some of his nice pellets. And guys, I'm adding in some fresh apples and he is just absolutely gonna love this. So let's head outside. We're gonna go outside. We are gonna see how he's doing. So we are ah! out here with the macaw. And you can ah! see that he still has his feathers missing, but he is getting them in. If you look on his chest right here, his yellow feathers are finally growing back. They are coming in. He is looking better. He is still a little scared, though, so we are still working on, you know, gaining his trust. But you can see I just cleaned his cage. It's perfectly, not spotless, but, you know, the best we can do. And, guys, I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to turn it on mist, and I'm going to miss him. Oh, so nice. Now guys, what this does, misting actually helps the growth of their feathers, helps them clean and helps them clean their feathers. It helps them keep the upkeep of the feathers and he is just loving it. Look, look, look at him. You're so pretty, buddy. Oh, that's so nice. You feel like you're in the forest, like the rainforest. That's so sweet. Now guys, if I just open up the cage so you can get a better look, you can see that he is not soaking wet, but he is just nice and damp and he's a little scared, buddy. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. You can trust me. But this really, really helps, you know, with the growth of their feathers. So guys, I really recommend misting your bird down about once a day or even leaving a little container of water if your bird is able to fit in it so they can actually give themselves a bath. All right, guys, now that we got the cage nice and clean, he has gotten his bath for the day. I'm about to put a mixture of food in here now since he is still a little scared. He is frightened that we are around him. He is probably not going to eat on the camera, so I'm just going to put his food inside the cage, and then we are going to put his toys in and see his reaction. 
A few moments later. So guys, he is actually super interested about what's in his bowl and what I have in my hand. So let's let's see if he likes it. Here, buddy. Ah, here you go. He almost dropped it. Here you go, buddy. Come <laughs> down. You can trust me. <gasps> guys, look at that. He trusted me and he took the apple from my hand. And even though he walked away, that is still a step in the right direction. He is gaining our trust and he is just the cutest thing ah. ever, guys. You can just see he just devour ah. apple now the thing about birds is they will not eat the skin of apples or actually anything you can see he just dropped the skin of the apple and he is ready to go munch on some more so let's leave him and let's go clean the toys before we put them in his cage all right guys i brought the toys over by the host so we can rinse them nice and good and xena here is joining us so she can help lend a hand of rinsing these toys now all you want to do when buying any toy from the pet store is xena xena now guys, when buying any little toy from the pet store, you always want to make sure you rinse it because there could be chemicals on here that you do not want your bird or any other animal to be in contact with. So you just give it a nice rinse down just like this. Make sure you get all of the rope or any toy you bought. You can just see how much dye is coming off these toys. It is just honestly ridiculous. But toy is done nice and clean now we're on to the next toy we're just going to give this one a nice rinse this is a lot easier since it's a hard toy that's good and now the last toy we're just going to go like this and rinse it all nice and good make sure we get everything and you can see that the dye is actually coming onto my hand from this toy i just want to make sure you rinse it nice and well and now it is ready we're going to dry it off a little bit and we're going to put it in the cage because you can hear he is ready for his new toys now guys, we're about to put the first toy in. So I'm gonna open up the cage right here. Make sure I'm gonna only open it up halfway so this little guy does not escape. And I am just gonna watch where my hand is. Put this toy in, screw it in. Oh my goodness, we almost got it. All right guys, we got this one secure. So we are gonna close the cage. We're gonna grab the next toy and we're gonna put it in. Now guys, we have the second toy. So I'm gonna open up the cage one more time. I'm gonna come to this corner ah. right here. It's okay, buddy, ah. I'm not gonna hurt you. And since this bar is a lot wider, I'm gonna squeeze this one in just like that. And there we have it. This toy is nice and secure. So now guys, we have the last and final toy that we are gonna have to put in. Guys, we have the ah. last giant toy. We are gonna put this one in the middle. So ah. let's see if this little guy's gonna ah. It's okay, buddy, you're okay. Stop freaking out, buddy. We're just gonna put this one right here, and he's a little scared. He's obviously gonna take some time to get used to it. Oh, what is that? It's okay, it doesn't hurt you. It's 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 a nice toy. All right, guys, we got the toy in there, and yes, he is a little scared, but it is definitely gonna take a little while for him to get used to it. It's just new objects in his cage, and he is pretty unsure, but he will get used to it in no time. All right, guys, now that I put the toys in his cage, he is gonna need some time to get used to it. So we are gonna leave him here, let him have some alone time, let him explore his new cage and explore his new toys. So guys, that is gonna conclude today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, give this video a big thumbs up. And guys, comment down below a little name for him. And guys, I may shout you out in the next video. And if you wanna see his journey, him growing up and him growing all of his feathers back, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the first link down below.